How are you doing, Chuck here? Um, in this video, I wanted to show you how to redirect a parameter in, uh, in ClickFunnels that's in a URL from one page to another. Um, so this might be a special case for a lot of people um, because a lot of, you know, a lot of things will do it automatically on the first, which I'm going to show you this does. But um, what I want to show you is how to take it from the next page, so the thank you page, to another page after that because you might need that for things like tracking or or um or or anything it really depends you could be sending them to another website like a like a um um some kind of scheduling software on another domain and you need to forward maybe the infusionsoft contact id uh in that url for that specific person um but it's but you want a page in between um so you can track leads or something like that so uh, what I want to show you here first is what happens by default. So I'm just going to put Chuck testing one here. I'm just going to put in a fake email. We'll put a one so so I'll get a different thing. So I'm going to go ahead and click and go to the the thank you page. Now basically what I'm looking for here in my case is the contact ID for Infusionsoft, okay? Uh, so in, in this particular instance, my, my new contact ID is 686. So what we want is for that number specific to each person to be forwarded to the next domain. Unfortunately, there's no way to do that. So if I click this right now, it's just going to go to that URL raw with no parameter forwarded. Uh, but like I said, you may want to have some additional tracking that's forwarded over to this page um, or this page could be a scheduling software uh, that you want to forward the, the parameter to so that it knows who that person is and it can it can uh, uh, you know pre-fill the, their information so they don't have to um, and I'll show you how you can do that automatically as well so what I'm going to do is go ahead and going to grab the parameter that I need so the one I'm going to be using in, in my example here is going to be the contact ID for Infusionsoft. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to st just save that there. Um, so I already have the code and I'll put a link to this uh, blog post in, wherever this video is. There will be a link here. Uh, right now it's pretty bare because I, I was, I'm just uh, showing people how to do it now. Then I'm going to embed the video you're watching on here. Um, so what you need is, is this code here. Now I'm not a, I'm not a developer or coder or anything. So I have no idea what most of this stuff does. <laughs> this is really a lot of, uh, you know, searching. I found things on, on, um, different websites like stack exchange, exchange mainly, and then a lot of trial and error. So, uh, what I tried to do is make it as easy as possible, um, for, to, uh, help you guys out as well. Uh, so let me make sure I'm getting everything here. So you can just grab this code, and this is the code that's going to pull pull the uh, contact ID or whatever parameter you want, and uh, it's going to push it into the the button here. And we're going to change the button code too because it's going to need to be a JavaScript button, um, or at least a button with some JavaScript code attached to it. So I'm going to go ahead and save that code here and show you how to change, make the changes you need. So uh, the first thing we need to change is the parameter itself. So since the parameter I want to get, I want to grab this parameter here, which is contact ID. So I need to tell the code that. So I already saved it here, so I'm going to grab it and I'm going to change this parameter here to contact ID. Then uh, this is where we're going to go after. Uh, so basically when people click the button down here, uh, whatever that next page is, is what we want to, uh, what we want to have in there. So for instance, right now I'm on forward slash think dash you, but I want to forward people to, uh, forward slash redirected with the parameter at the end. So that's what I'm going to put here. Um, so I will go ahead and grab that code or that URL real quick, or it's right here actually. So really, I just need this test.whiskeyneed.com slash redirected. And you're going to put that just after, you know, basically. Or actually, you know, so you want to change your domain, obviously. Let me just 
try to make it easy. So whiskey need is my domain. Uh, if you have a WW, leave it. If you don't, just take it away like that. Um, in my case, I have a subdomain called test just for doing this. So I'm just going to put that in there. Uh, then whatever the page path is. So you know the page path is going to be in in click funnels, whatever you have in here for the page, uh, or specifically for this page for me is going to be on this one. So I have redirected. So you could just grab that. And then I'll go back here and I'm going to make that the page path. Um, and then whatever the parameter is. So this needs to be the same as that. Or it doesn't need to be actually. In my case, I want it to be the same. So I want the contact ID to be redirected. But if you want it to be redirected as something else, then you can do that, um, which could be helpful in some situations. Probably most of the time you're going to keep it the same. But just make sure you change the parameter here and here and then change your your uh to your correct url here um when you have the um the um question mark here just make sure you have this backslash in front of it because that tells the javascript that it's an actual literal question mark and not some kind of a command for javascript um, which i don't know what that would be because like i said i'm not a uh, a, a coder so now what we need to do is take this code and this is going to go in the head tracking section of the page that you want uh, to pull pull the parameter from so in our case that's the thank you page we went to so uh, you know after people um, after people submit their form and they end up on this thank you page it gives us the contact ID but but we want to push it to the next one so what we need to do is go to the thank you page and edit it. And then we're going to grab the code that we redid here. And this is taking a minute since I'm recording live here. And then go up to settings here, go to tracking code, and then in the header code here, we're just going to paste that in. And that's all we need to do. So now um, what that's going to do is the JavaScript's going to pull that, that um, parameter out, out of the URL and then put it into a new URL, basically. So we're just going to save that. Uh, the next thing we need to do, though, is uh, this button, by default, is not going to pull that or, or change the URL that we need because this is just a regular HTML button. There's not really any other. We can't put the, the code that's necessary in here to, um, to pull in the new parameter to send people there. So basically what we need to do is just get rid of this. Um, I'm just going to hide it real quick in case I want it later. And what we're going to put in its place is, is a, um, a JavaScript submit, snippet. So I'm just going to put it here, actually. So what we need is custom JavaScript set slash HTML. So we'll just put one of those here. I'm going to drag it above that social stuff. And now we're going to grab some more code. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open the code editor and if you look back on the blog post I was talking about you can see that I have some more code here this is kind of annoying there you go uh, so this is just um, button code I actually pulled from another um, infu or not infusion not and click funnels page uh, it looks you know that's the basic blue button um, if you want to do fancy stuff, then you know you might have to do some trial and error there. The way I got it was I I published the page with the button the way I wanted it to look. Then I went to um, basically went to the page like this, right click on it, inspect element, um, and then you can grab the HTML from there. So you know I I don't know what you'd want probably around here, uh, something like that, and then you'd be able to change it. But I'm not going to get into that in this video. Uh, so so you'll just have to deal with the style of the button. Uh, so what's important about the button though, so if you did want to change it, the important thing is, let me see if I can find it, this on click in the A, in the A uh, anchor text thing, on click equals location.href, and then it changes it to next URL three, which if you look at the code that we made, um, it's basically creating this new URL and then assigning it to the variable next URL three. So then what this button does is, is taking that new variable that's been created. Uh, so that's the important thing if you do want to, if you do want to um, customize with a different button and different HTML, you'll have to change that on click. 
Um, but if you just want to use the default button, then you can just grab the code the way I give it to you. Um, the only thing you might want to change is where I put button text goes here. Uh, essentially, that's just the text here. Like here it says click to get started. So I'll go ahead and I'll change that in mine. So we'll change that to click to get started. And then that's it. So what we can do is go ahead and save this. And that should be good. So now I'm going to go back to the opt-in page here and test it out. I'm going to do Chuck Testing 2, ChuckTesting2.com. So now we have a new contact ID of 688. So when we click this, it should go to uh, it'll go to the the next page, the redirected page, but with with um, the uh, contact ID forwarded there. So I'll click on that. Goes to the next page. Now we have the contact ID 688 forwarded to the thing. So now I just I just noticed something that I forgot to add. Um, with the way the button's set up right now, um, it's not showing it as a pointer like a normal link would. So I will, I'll, I'll add some code for that in there. And uh, since I don't have it, I'll basically just add it uh, under the button code, but it'll be separate and it'll be CSS code. Uh, where you're going to put that once I show it is you'll go here to custom CSS and you're just going to, you know, either add it there, or add a couple of lines and add it by itself here. Um, so I'll add code to change that for you to make it a, a pointer. Um, I'll just do that later. But now, you know, it's essentially doing what we want. And this is a problem that I had a lot um, uh, at one point for, for a specific client or a few clients. And uh, I couldn't find anywhere and um, figured out how to do just, like I said, by trial and error. Um, I can also show you, and I will show you right now, I'm going to show you how to make this automatically redirect. So, uh, for instance, maybe you want to redirect to a scheduling software with that parameter in it, uh, but you don't want to make them click the button, but you still want to track like a, a Facebook pixel and count them as a lead or something like that before they get redirected. So what you can do there is you would go back to, to the um, uh, thank you page here. So the one, the one that has the button on it, and what we can do is just make them sit here for three to five seconds or something like that. Uh, and I have a piece of code for that as well. Um, essentially, it's the same code on the top here, but the difference is this code on the bottom that actually sets sets up the automatic redirect. So I'm just going to add that in the tracking code below here. And if you look, um, I have some default stuff here, but what I'm what I'm going to do is just set the uh, to the same URL here, right before the parameter code. So that should be good. And then the other thing you would need to change is the the number over here. So what this is is basically how long the page is going to sit there until it automatically redirects. So I have it set at 3000 and this is milliseconds, I think. So 3000 just means three seconds. So if you put 4000, that's four seconds. If you put 5000, that's five seconds. So let's go ahead and change it to 5000 just to show you. And I'll go ahead and save that. And then I will go back to the opt-in page. And I'm going to do a new, new uh, Infusionsoft user. So it should be 689, or no, it'll be 690 because I think it goes up by two. Um, and so what, when I click on this, it should sit on that thank you page with the button for five seconds. I won't click the button. And then after five seconds, it's going to automatically redirect to that uh, forward slash redirected page with the parameter in it. So I'll do that right now. 
and then I'll just leave my mouse over here. We'll wait five seconds, and then it should automatically redirect. Here it goes. Oh, I must have put in the wrong, the wrong URL here. I sure did. So let me go fix that. You can see it did it did forward the correct parameter. Let me see what I did wrong here. Oh, I think I I just forgot the uh, that here. I think. Let's see if that does it. And I'm just gonna go back to that page and refresh it. And after five seconds, it should go. Huh. Okay, so I paused the, the video for a second uh, and figured out what was wrong. It was a, just a simple space in between. So I had mistakenly... The code is correct, but I mistakenly put a space right here. And that was causing that problem. Um, so I probably won't edit that out because I because I don't think it's a big deal. Um, but yeah, just make sure you know everything is in. There's no spaces or anything, and uh, you should be fine. So yeah, now you can see that it's automatically redirected to the next page. It has the correct parameter. So if you need to to send, actually, you know what? I did forget to change that too. So just remember also. Uh, as you can see, I forgot to change the name of the parameter. I want it to be contact ID. So what we need to do is just change what we want it to be. And it's just going to add that parameter value. So I want it to be contact ID. I'm going to save this again. Then I'm going to go back to that thank you page and refresh it real quick. And now it should forward with contact ID equals 690 and that's it so uh, you know there's a couple use cases there um, and you know it depends on what you need on the other end and the reason for you forwarding it and like I said you could forward it with uh, with the same parameter and move it over or you can actually change the the name of the the, the variable I guess you call it um, or parameter I don't know what the technical term is and forward a different one with the same value so like if I was going into Typeform or something, I know they don't, Typeform doesn't allow you to have uppercase letters and it'll put everything down to lowercase. So, you know, if I wanted to change it to contact ID just to track something in Typeform, uh, I can just change it to all lowercase. Um, so, you know, there's different use cases you could use that, but um, hopefully that helps some people. Um, hopefully I didn't screw up too much in my example <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, yeah, let me know if, uh, you got any value out of it by commenting or, or just saying thanks, uh, or liking the video and sharing it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you got value out of this and, uh, until next time, take care.